Hi everyone. Join us in this enlightening video as our Apostle Joshua Selman teaches us on the power of declaring scriptures during prayer and how speaking God's word can transform your prayer life, bring clarity and strengthen your faith. So whether you're a seasoned believer or just starting your spiritual journey, engaging the power of scripture can elevate your communication with God. So prepare to be blessed by this video production and don't forget to hit the like button, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you and God bless you. I am the head and not the tail. Please say it. Amen. Believe what you are saying. Say I am the head and not the tail. Amen. Yes sir. The Bible says you are above and not beneath. And while you are saying that because Satan is a deceiver, he will come and stand around the corridors of your mind and say with that rent issue, what did you say again? The head? Hear yourself and you say it again. I am the head and not the tail. And then you can add, while we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal. Temporal. The court case, temporal. The issue of shame and reproach, temporal. Still looking for the school fees of your son, but temporal. Yes, the visa was declined, but temporal. Welcome to Start Now Channel. We are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in God's presence. The Bible says in Psalm 119 verse 130, The entrance of thy word is that light. As you listen and watch, may you experience the transformative power of God's light. Many believers do not understand. They do not even know it is prayer. Is declaring scripture in prayer. My goodness, my God. Declaring scripture in prayer. Not just quoting. Uh -uh. There is a difference and I'm going to show you now. Just because you are quoting scripture does not mean you are carrying out this model of prayer. It is a powerful model of prayer to declare scripture. Psalms 107, 2 and 3, please. My God, declaring scripture in prayer. The Bible says, let the redeemed of the Lord, please help me, say so. What is the platform that allows them to say so? Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. What is this model of prayer? Please watch this. So you take scripture and personalize it. You put yourself in the experience of that word and you declare it. Are we together now? The Bible says to bring forth your strong reasons. To bring forth, present your cause your case said the Lord and he says bring forth your strong reason don't just say God are you not my father you can't be watching me like that that's not prayer that's not prayer let me show you how this model of prayer works that you can stand in the place of prayer and you are making prophetic declarations the Lord is my light and my salvation I am blessed going out and blessed coming in this is you praying now are we together you become the prophet of your destiny at that point and as you are speaking you know because the bible says ecclesiastes i believe uh, chapter 8 let's try 3 or 4 that should be verse 4 please where the word of a king is did i get okay where the word of a king is is that in your bible there is what help me say power one more time where the word of a king is remember revelations 5 10 we have been made unto our god kings and priests and we shall reign on earth that means every time you make these declarations you are not just speaking to the air you are programming realities over your destiny believe this i am blessed in the city and blessed in the country I obey the Lord and I serve him. Therefore, I enjoy prosperity, my days in prosperity, my years in pleasure. This is you declaring scripture. A thousand fall by my side and ten thousand by my right side. None shall hurt me. With my eyes shall I see and behold the reward of the wicked. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Of whom shall I be afraid of? Are we together now? Yes. They may come against me in one way, but they will scatter in seven ways. I am the delight of the Lord. I shall not die, but live and declare. This is a prayer model. 
it's a prayer model most believers do not have a rich prayer life because they do not even know here's how the average believer prays father you are the king of kings and the lord of lords alpha and omega the beginning and the end and all and you, you see that they don't believe what they're saying now imagine you are god and somebody just comes you are the lion of tribe of judah the rose of sharon and the king of what is rose of sharon what is king of kings now i'm not being insulted please don't don't misunderstand me and at the end of it all that preamble is to really get to a point where they can bring down that pain and say god let's talk this rent you sent manna from heaven they wasted it you sent another one i'm only asking you for rent in jesus name and the person will live actually believing that he prayed no you didn't pray you lamented agreed you cried agreed you were superstitious agreed but it was not prayer are we together because i have set my affection on him ah look if you the the key to manifesting this model is that your word bank must be full if you do not understand scripture you cannot pray this model because this model is a direct lifting from scripture you just put yourself there and make that declaration if you are poor in the word you cannot pray this model of prayer hallelujah this is the kind of the model of prayer that you use to counter negative speakings did you get that now that someone looks at you and says everybody in this unit is a useless person immediately a scripture wells from you it's not that you have to reply that person immediately because there's wisdom remember so someone looks at you and says, the way you are looking sick like this as if you are going to die soon a scripture just comes up and the moment you find a chance no I, I shall not die I shall not die they are life to those who find them and health to their flesh are we together now yes the advantage of this prayer is that it keeps reinforcing that truth to your consciousness because generally speaking speaking reinforces the reality of thoughts this is psychology you agree with me on that that anytime you speak a thing the reality is still is crystallized in your mind again you get up in the morning and you celebrate god this is the day the lord has made who made the day not the lord and satan the lord had made therefore i rejoice anything fighting my joy today in the name of jesus i come against you on account of that declaration that means my joy was factored in the making of that day so you find two people who leave their homes in the morning please listen on the streets of Lagos, someone leaves their home rejoicing and you say how are you they say i'm fine they're rejoicing they get to the office and they say listen um we decided to choose one person to send abroad and you are the person who came to our mind and someone is frowning because a merry heart do it good like medicine are we together now but that a broken spirit can dry up the bones you get up in the morning and you declare in the name of jesus joy joy unspeakable full of glory no one disturbs my joy and peace today you have already frustrated the person satan has position and every time god sees that something good is coming you notice things begin to happen around your life your office you are angry your son wants to do something you're almost going to slap him no it's an attack because it is with joy we reap are we together now scriptural prayer models number two joy some of you right now as you are here god has been telling you cheer up since yesterday what god sent from heaven has refused to arrive do you know why because gloominess and sadness has created an embargo you believe what i'm teaching you yes i am the head and not the tail please say it Amen. believe what you are saying say i'm the head and not the tail Amen. yes sir the bible says you are above and not beneath and while you are saying that because satan is a deceiver he will come and stand around the corridors of your mind and say with that rent issue what did you say again the head hear yourself and you say it again i am the head and not the tail 
and then you can add why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal temporal the court case temporal the issue of shame and reproach temporal still looking for the school fees of your son but temporal yes the visa was declined but temporal temporal but the things that are unseen unseen not unreal unseen not unreal just because you cannot see it does not mean it doesn't exist hallelujah the works of my hands blessed god gives you a store you don't go there and start quarreling and say this lady today's your last day if you don't it's too you you are already frustrating your path to growth i'm showing you how to participate with heaven you step into your mall or your store excuse yourself for a minute and close the door in the name of jesus the bible says everything i do is blessed is it in your bible whatsoever he doeth help me whatsoever he doeth you step into that store lay your hands and say in the name of jesus god is bringing strategic people relationships are coming to me today not useless relationships destiny defining relationships troublemakers are far from my destiny god is bringing the right people you get up and you expect favor the bible says his messes are new every morning have you received today's own declaring scripture declaring scripture declaring scripture you get up and you find yourself that you you were somewhere you fell into a ditch and you died bring yourself back to life by waking up that death in the dream should end there are we together and then you don't just get up and say god forbid god forbid is not prayer god forbid based on what you see the things that we keep saying that makes our prayer ineffective god forbid i know you are sincere but the realm of the spirit does not work like that there has to be a basis based on what the bible said i said before you life and death i said before you blessing and cursing who is god speaking to this morning he said choose life choose life one of the ways you choose life is to verbalize it if I tell you choose between this flower and this monitor one of the ways you by pointing and then you can say I choose the flower loud enough for me to hear you you cannot tell me you choose the flower then I give you this it means I'm a deceiver God says choose life choose life choose life when men say there is a casting down my declaration in the name of the Lord and add your children in that confession that they shall say there is a lifting up I'm challenging every mother here don't keep quiet this is not the time to keep quiet Satan is looking for families he would destroy looking for men that you will shred their testimonies do you know that the spirit of depression the first thing that the spirit of depression does is it brings you to a point of silence find out people who are depressed they've come to a point where they've given up on life and they just keep quiet sir you know there is a way and it just keeps quiet after five minutes he says that person is almost dying but thou oh lord had a shield for me my glory you lift my head but thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Sing it one more time. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, you lift my head. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me. Many of you have heard me say there are some of you the only thing that comes out of your mouth is why is it that everybody hates me first you are a liar because it's impossible to be hated by everybody you may have heard me say that even satan 
is not hated by everybody there are people who know that he's the devil and still love him there are wives that agree to spend their lives with terrorists am i right on that they know the person is an assassin is a killer and yet he went and met her parents and the lady was willing everybody cannot hate you is the devil deceiving you and what you need is one person sent by god who loves you one how many one i tell you one how many people had to love joseph to become a prime minister 10 15 one 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 so when you get up in the morning father in the name of jesus there has to be someone who delights in my son to hold his hands and lift him to be great i'm calling that person forth by prophecy when jesus was born as a little baby there were wise men that saw the stars is that in your bible the bible says they took gifts of gold of frankincense and myrrh and they came to greet baby jesus not entrepreneur jesus not savior jesus declaring scripture declaring scripture declaring scripture go back home on your way home even if it's only one scripture you know weary life with that scripture speak it until it becomes a reality declare ye that thou might test be justified there are no assumptions in the spirit let me tell you the truth if i did not understand this model i submit to you by the integrity of god's word i would have died a long time ago a long time ago don't just accept everything that comes to your life build a garrison with the word and don't wait for someone to just speak it over you you are principally the first prophet of your life principally hallelujah the bible says i will multiply them they shall not be few i will glorify them they shall not be small speak that over your business the bible says in psalm 112 parents this is a women conference blessed is the man that feared the lord who delighted greatly in his commands his seed shall be mighty as a mother you would declare i didn't give birth to pain i is not my child that will send me to my grave in the name of jesus every spirit trying to turn this boy to become a disappointment i am not discouraged i look beyond that stubborn child and i see a giant rising because the bible says his seed shall be mighty see it shall be mighty the seed shall be mighty are we together you declare over this church that it's not only spiritually vibrant men and women who arise but people who are great people of means and people of capacity genesis 17 and verse 6 i will make thee exceeding fruitful he says give it to us please and i will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee not kings shall come to you does that sound like what comes out of a woman so what you are holding called a baby is a king royalty greatness you're my glory the lifter up of my head you're my glory We believe you were blessed by the message you just watched. Let us know what stood out to you in the comment section. You can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos. So more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages. We celebrate you and see you in our next video. Thank you.